freedom. Today I want to talk to you about something awesome. I want to talk to you about ToyCon. ToyCon is a convention where like-minded individuals go to pretty much nerd out and geek out having to do with toys. I had a lot of fun. But before we get into the general convention-y stuff, which you might maybe see behind me, I don't know. Julius, can, can, can you... Thank you. I love you, Julius. Before we get into all that stuff, which we will totally go over, we have an interview with a very important person in the Star Wars universe. The gentleman who played young Boba Fett. We'll go ahead. I played the young Boba Fett in Star Wars Attack of the Clones, and also the Clone Wars. Uh, when I was 13, I came back and made young Boba Fett a character in the Star Wars universe. I'm into YouTube culture very much. I think with the, uh, the way with social media and the internet's gone, you cannot be a big fan of, of what people can post uh, from their own bedrooms and their houses. Uh, the rap battle was just awesome. I think, you know, uh, those guys, they just do such a great job. And I, I was very, very, very impressed with the Boba Fett versus the uh, Deadpool. Weirdly enough, I uh, got the audition in New Zealand. I, um, I got called by my agent and she called me screaming on the other side of the phone. I, 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 I have this audition. I'm thinking in my head, whoa, yeah, you send me auditions every day. W what's so special about this one? She stood me, I got you an audition for Star Wars. And at this point I'm thinking, well, okay, what is it? Just give me the audition, I'll go for it. Because I'd never heard of Star Wars. Well, I ended up going along and auditioning and later on I ended up finding out that it was around the 5,000 range uh, of kids that I ended up getting um, the audition process for. Um, and then that's when the whole life of Star Wars and the world came to me. I love everything to do with Boba Fett. Um, he's really become uh, a big part of my life. Um, so for him to be able to live on and allow other kids to uh, be involved with the, the life that I've been able to have, I mean, I, I just want this character to continue. So, I mean, if I get to play Boba Fett in, in, in the new movie or uh, whoever it might be, um, I'm just looking forward to Boba Fett being able to have his time in the limelight. Uh, a couple months ago, I got a call from the Sharknado guys asking if I'd come in um, and play a small role in, uh, or cameo role in, in the uh, Sharknado world, which I wasn't very familiar with. But now, uh, obviously after the audition, I became very familiar with now speaking about it quite often. But um, yeah, they gave me a cameo. I can't really say too much about what I'm doing. But it has something to do with my previous life, I guess, or roles, as I should say. I have a Twitter. Uh, you can look me up, Daniel Logan. Um, I have a uh, fan page. It's uh, Daniel Logan fan page. Um, and then also Instagram, Insta Daniel Logan. So please follow me. Look me up. Uh, sometimes I, I put little videos up of just, you know, what I, what I do and the way I live. When I, when I started acting, I was very fortunate that a lady picked me up and she, she took me on my journey and allowed me to get to where I am, really. And if it wasn't for her, I, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Um, I sat on stage with a lot of people and, you know, the question would always come up, how do I, how do I get become an actor? How do I become an actress? And I'll hear the same question, uh, answer to the question. Well, just get an agent, just get an agent. But it's like, well, how do you get an agent when you haven't got anything to show for it? So you really have to do all your own work. I mean, just like YouTube, if you have an ability to be able to make a YouTube video, you can take it to the next step and go and, like I said, the thrift shops and online and find scripts and create your own uh, stories from original scripts and then also redress them in outfits that you would find, you know, uh, appropriate. But um, yeah, you have to really create it within yourself nowadays. And if you do that, the chances of you becoming successful are a lot higher than if you were just to try and walk into an agency and then have them send you out to do headshots and send you out to do their, all their classes and then you have to pay all these ridiculous fees um, without having that opportunity of even maybe having the possibility of being on anything at all. Um, but if you do it yourself, you have a higher chance. So it was an interesting thing being able to interview Daniel Logan. I, the way that it worked out is we pretty much had to chase him around a little bit and fit it in between other things. Uh, and in doing so, we accidentally missed our time to speak with 
Another person you may all be aware of, Dean Cain, who played Superman in the 90s and now plays Supergirl's father in the show Supergirl. But that's okay. We've got a lot of really awesome footage of Dean speaking, of the actor who played Hodor in Game of Thrones, and a lot of awesome cosplayers. So rather than doing my like, subscribe, and all that stuff, I'm going to leave you with some shots of cosplayers. So, yeah. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to see another one, click over there. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there. And if you'd like to see what happens when you click my nose, go ahead, try it. Ah, all right, one of y'all's been eating Cheetos. Seriously, I'm done. Okay, that's it. Everybody, lights off. Time to go home. You know, it's really kind of echoey and scary in here when it's dark. Ooh.